Welcome to Peaceful Streaming. So I'm bad at bad back. I'm back at this uh, property that I absolutely abhorred as a job, and I'm I'm not liking a whole lot more as as a flip. Um, but the point is to make it look better. Uh, there's like no light, is there? Um, hang on. Okay, well, there's some light. So I'm going to clean up. Um, the reason I'm starting so many jobs and like abandoning them halfway through, you may have noticed, is because my computer's really struggling. I am um, waiting for the last part of my new computer be to be bought, and then my son is going to build it. But in the meantime, my... Um, computer this is seven or eight years old and it is just not really up to working on properties that ha already have a lot of items in them so um, so that's why I'm starting a lot of stuff and not finishing it so I will finish it as soon as I have a computer that is capable of moving through those properties without grinding to a halt in many cases so um yikes i think i'm gonna uh pick up trash clean eat, and sell on each floor before moving on to the next because they're just like so nasty that uh i don't want to leave them unclean un un well anyway you know what i mean dirty um so, what is that? I have no idea. Okay. Um, wow. Yeah. Um, okay, so I can't... I have to change that window. I can't actually clean anything. So, yeah, I already have questions about... Do I get to actually choose? Apparently not. And what's weird is... Well, there's a lot of weird stuff. Um, yeah, so I I really didn't like this as a job. I thought it was just really awkward and poorly put together. And um, I still feel that way. I'm not sure if I what how much I can actually do. Like I was thinking, I want to take this down and and just do something that makes more sense. But then I was thinking. Hmm, I wonder if I can actually, if I'll actually be able to, to demo, uh, demolish the walls. I don't know. I mean, obviously there's one way to find out, which I will do after I finish picking up and cleaning. Yuck. Yeah, everything's just, well, that looks fine. Um... Wait, so this is still supposed to be the old music school, I guess, because um, in private houses, you don't have the, the signs. Okay, and I know I didn't, didn't change the windows up there, but I will later on get a large scaffolding and take care of that. Why would anyone use this color for the walls? I don't get it. I just really do not understand. So let's see. Okay. Okay. So this looks marginally less disgusting. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's nice. Um, okay, let's sell that. Oh, yuck. Oh, this was like, I think they called it a flop house or something. I don't know if that term's really used much anymore. Although I suppose. So, yeah, one of the big problems with this place was the weird... Like, just the rooms were not, I don't know, they just didn't seem to work really well. Um, unfortunately, sometimes when you have something that's, that's like, tall and skinny like this, it's, it's going to be awkward, like, no matter what. It's really hard to, I mean, because look how little room you have. So, yeah, it's not, it's not ideal, that's for sure. Long and skinny rooms, definitely not, not great. But um, I guess a lot of townhouses are like this. So I guess you just have to make the most of it. But this, this for instance, to me, there's got to be a better way than these long and skinny rooms. It just doesn't make sense. I, mean, I might be wrong. I mean, it's possible there's, there isn't a better way to do this, but... The other thing is, when this was a job, um, there's no light in here. Well, there is, but there's no light switch. Okay. So when this was a job, yeah, it wasn't really, it didn't seem like it was really well thought out. Like you have this huge, well, okay. You had this fairly big living room downstairs. Why did you need, a, like, why was the kitchen on the middle floor? I mean, I'm not saying it's completely unreasonable, but it was just, I don't know, it was a little strange. Not to mention the part where you had a, to a bathroom without a toilet. And no bathroom on the middle floor. And the bedrooms on the top floor and a children's room. Now, I could see if you were not planning to have kids, but... As a parent, I know the idea of having a kid have to go from the third floor in the middle of the night um I know I know I was saying something there now I can't remember what it was um yeah there wasn't a well, well I'm trying to remember what okay never mind I'm just I'm like clearly not. Thinking there was there was something really weird. And now of course I can't remember what it was. So yeah. Um I think I think one thing is you you just this could not be a house for a big family unless you're just I mean look at the size look at the size of this bathroom. It just so I guess that was see that was the bedroom then. See this was the really weird design so this was the master bedroom and uh it didn't have this closet thing here but it's like it was really awkward i mean i'm not sure there's there's a way around that but i guess we'll find out that's nice i think i'll leave that So I think the thing is, what I would do is only put doors on um, the rooms that need privacy and have everything else open because 
it's just really um just the rooms are just really awkwardly done um so like for instance this would be better as an office than than as a bedroom and this for instance well see now we have this awkward stuff again um so this would be better as one as a master bedroom i think and then you've got the bathroom But actually, um, so let's assume we want two bedrooms up here. But on the other hand, let's see, the bottom, the bottom floor could be kitchen. Yeah, that is tricky. That's the problem. Um, So this, this obviously should go. I mean, there's no reason to have that tiny little thing there. But the thing is, this room as a bedroom doesn't work just because the fact that it, once you put a bed in here, there's like no room. So this, like I said, would be better as an office or a children's room because the beds would be smaller. And then a bathroom. And then this could be the master bedroom. So let's, let's, let's test that theory. <laughs> See how that works. So see, that's, that's more doable. Obviously you don't need two entrances. So that's very, what is, what is this for? So you could put a wardrobe there. Um, I think this would probably be more useful as a wall than an entrance. Okay, so this is, I mean, I, I wouldn't call it spacious, but this is definitely doable for a bedroom. Um, is this hall light not on? I'm not very bright. Okay, so then that's, um, so then this can be a kid's room. Uh, oh, I left, I left spider webs. They don't show up on the map um, as dirt. Okay. Is there a light in this hall? Where's the light switch? Okay, I'm turning this on, but the chances are that I'm going to demolish this. What the? Oh, okay, so that needs to be done. Um, so, again, I mean... So this I might keep as a bathroom, but I think the rest of it should be open the way it was in the, in the job. Because I think that works because it's it's not going to be private area. The bedrooms are upstairs. So it doesn't need to be private. So I guess it could be the family living area. 
Um... Oh, these, these stupid columns. Um. Now, I'm, I'm guessing we can't put windows in here. I'm guessing this is supposed to be like a row house, townhouse thing, and you can't do that. But I'm going to try. Nope, I didn't think so. But hey, it was worth a shot. So I may not leave this all totally open, but I think that it just doesn't make sense the way it is. But it's likely that I, like I said, that it's a pretty big bathroom. So part of this, some part of this will be a bathroom. That might be a better size. See, now I'm here I'm having it's dark again. Is that about the same size as the other one? I guess so. So these are these are too really too big to be bathrooms. Um in in this house. So um one of these will be gone. Where does it make the most sense to have a bathroom? I think this makes the most sense. I guess that's not really big to be a bathroom. Okay, so let's take this one down. It's just weird to me to, to block up the space at the end of the um, stairs. I don't know. Um, okay, so, so this was the issue, um, I think the bathroom upstairs didn't have a toilet, and, um, then there wasn't one on the second floor, so I was like, that makes no sense. Oh, it will let me take it all down. Cool, because I don't see, I don't think it makes sense to have the bathroom in the middle of the room like that. It's just a little weird. It just really breaks up the room for no particular reason. I mean, if you want to like, oh, please tell me that I can take that down. Please tell me that I can. I mean, it looks like I can. Yeah. I just have to get the large scaffolding. And it makes and it makes uh, at least this room very dark to do that. And actually the other one too. So I'll tuck the bathroom away in a corner. 
So I think that makes more sense. And then this really can be one big room. So part of it can be the kitchen. I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to figure out does it what room does it make sense to have the kitchen on? It may actually make sense to have it on the second floor. But on, I don't know. Kitchen, dining room on the second floor, living room. Uh, kitchen, dining room. I don't know. Yeah. I guess I'm going to have to think about that. Okay, so um, okay, scaffolding. I knew this wasn't going to be really bright, but um, okay, I'm going to put up some of the really bright wall lights. throw them up there that we can actually see See, you hardly notice those other ones being gone because they're not like they're not very bright at all. Okay. And I'm just doing this because OCD. I'm a little higher up. I don't even know if I'm going to keep these as lights down here, but I'm going to be looking at them for a little while. So, okay. Uh, scaffolding. Okay. So I guess I can do the windows first. Hopefully I can reach them all from here. Maybe, maybe not. Nope, I can't reach one of them. Seriously. Well, that is annoying. Can I reach them from here? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Okay, so let's move it over here. I'm really not sure how that's going to work out. It's possible maybe I should just have gotten the smaller one. Because a lot of times when you're on a scaffolding in the game, you can't do anything. This is a high ceiling. <laughs> like, no kidding. Yeah, we noticed that. Um, yeah, this is... Not sure if it was necessary or helpful to get the large one okay so now i'm just hitting the thing so how do i do this i think i'm gonna um buy the smaller one and see if that works better possible this will be only good for like painting if even that i don't know okay let's see See, now this, I can stand on this and then actually get stuff done. So the thing is, I could actually hang 
one of those big chandeliers that I've always wanted to hang, but hang down too far in this room. Like once. Oh, please tell me I can, please tell me that this floor thing will go away, please. Because if not, um, that could be weird. I guess I would have to rebuild this. That's just dumb. I mean, yeah, they may have hard-coded this floor thing in. Shoot. And I guess, well, maybe I could do something underneath to make it make sense. Was a weird sound. Well, I mean, this is interesting. <laughs> it's just going to be this, like, bit of ceiling sticking out, isn't it? Well. I suppose, I mean, I have no idea what I... Can I sell it, maybe? No. I can't break it down. Man. They they made this like just hard coded in. <sighs> Maybe I can think of something to do with it. No idea what. Um maybe put columns and not a clue. I'll figure something out. Um, okay, so then I can change the windows here. I could make it into a bar, maybe. Or something. I don't know. I'll think... Oh, shoot. Uh... Whatever, you moron. Well, I need a scaffolding anyway to paint. Hopefully this one's going to be enough. I think so. But what I can do is hang those chandeliers. I'm so excited. Okay, so then there are a couple that I've wanted to hang. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this place. But let's see how they look. So there's this one. The Gravibus. Uh, where's the other one? That humongous one. Where is it? Was I just imagining it? I'm not. No, I wasn't. Okay, this one. This one is so awesome. Let's see, the gold is cool. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, you know how long I've wanted to have that thing up? Please tell me it's gonna I'm gonna be able to have it actually light because look, it's not lighting. Please tell me this is not gonna be an issue. Maybe if I put a Light switch on this wall of the stairs. Like halfway up. That would suck. Wouldn't it just suck if you could not actually get that thing to light? Because these are lit. Oh, come on. Why do we have these chandeliers? I really, I really have to wonder. Okay, so maybe if I put a light switch here. Please. Please light up. Is that on? It doesn't look like it. Uh, it is on, isn't it? Did that do it? Yep. Okay, now I'm not upset. Okay, so I'm going to put one on the other side. I think that's the, I think that's what I want to go with. And it is it was not centered, was it? And now of course I can't remember where 
Let's see. Okay, so then let's put one over here. Awesome. Okay, so these aren't on because I need to go and then turn the light on again. So now I'm thinking I also could put the bathroom back here, just not put that that other stuff up there. That that like long column. Maybe that'll look that'll look dumb. That'll actually look worse. So I'll think of something to do, like maybe having this be a bar or something. I don't know. Um, but I'm just so excited to have those things. Whoa, chandeliers. It's really hard to see them, isn't it? Um, oh, wait a minute. Okay, so this this floor is going to be tricky. So I'm not going to do that this floor today. Because that's, I'm going to have to figure out what to do. Um, and ergo, I think that, that's the word that makes sense. Since I don't know what I'm going to do with that floor, I don't know what I'm going to do with this floor. So I'm going to work on this floor today. Uh, okay. Do so you want to keep the bathroom in there because then you get the, the windows in the bedrooms. So then this is going to be the master, master bedroom. Um, so I think I'm going to take my cue from the chair and it's going to be really pretty. Um, and there will be a big wardrobe here, I think, either that or a big dresser. Okay, so obviously the bed is what it all has to revolve around. Um, shoot, my, my foot is seizing up. Ooh, wait a minute. <gasps> four poster. Now, the only thing I don't like about the four posters, as it is with some of the other beds, is, is the weird like bedspread thing um so the bedding is this just solid colors yeah so we don't have any patterns okay so that one is not great um come on yeah my foot is um shoot gotta just make sure what happens is that my toes try to Spasm. and then it pulls a tendon on the sole of my foot really tight so I have my toes taped up so it shouldn't do that but it seems to be trying very hard to do it anyway so I'm just trying to figure out if my toes are taped up enough so let's see so this is the light bed but this doesn't have a lot of light colors oh the white the white wood's okay I think it depends on what oh shoot I need to take my sock off sorry and look and make sure my toes aren't <gasps> Ooh, that's why okay so I don't have them taped to my big toe um I'll be back in just one minute I have to grab some emergency tape Okay, found the tape. It'll just take me, take me a few seconds. What happened is I, I need to tape them 
to my big toe and then they're kind of oh god it's still yeah i shouldn't have let it go on so long um yeah and then they're kind of stabilized okay so so we once again don't have patterns is this okay i'm gonna look at the iron ones and then if i don't find anything i like i'll just go back to um ow shoot oh here's an, another one so the one i was just looking at was astrid i looked at astrid and Knox. so the only one left is christian okay so let's look at that um ow yeah it's, it's definitely still trying to why is that bed so why is that bed only 504 dollars i'm clicking on it and like nothing's happening okay um okay so i think i'm gonna go with this one assuming i can get a frame let's get the framing cream and the bedding Ooh, that's not good pastel rose Ooh, that's not good either let's do white and then nope nope uh i don't know we'll see um pillows white ink none of these are really attractive so let's see okay so the pillows do have patterns so let's do floral shoots and then How's it? The pastel rose looks really blah. Um, what about pastel rose for the mattress? Or white? Um, pillows, pastel rose. Now, I also think I'll be able to put... And what does that look like? Okay, so that's, that's pretty. So then let's make the tiebacks... I think just white and then you know what no um primary color gray what is gray oh that's the that's that thing okay um, let's see, pillows, floral shoots, I have, I guess actually it should be, the frame should be light instead of cream, or maybe white actually, because that's even prettier. Um, so the bedding, the pastel rose, I don't know, let's see how it looks. Um... See, the pastel rose doesn't really go with that other pink. And see, bedding, pastel rose. See, this, I want to see it's too much there. Okay, this is tricky. Yeah, the problem is that other pink, that kind of melony pink, that's a problem because. Um, it's a problem for a bunch of reasons. So can we do, do we have pastel rose for this? No, we don't. So I can't do the drapes. I can't do the drapes in pastel rose, but I can do them in that weird peachy color. I actually like that color, but it's a warm color. And so it really doesn't go with the grays. Um, so that's, and I don't think this is going to look nice. No, the bubble gum. Okay. So let's just keep the, the curtains for now. We'll just keep them white and maybe do the tiebacks. Can we do the tiebacks? Um, 
Pastel rose. Where are they? Details. Pastel rose. Not gorgeous, I have to say. It's weird how some of the colors look good and some things... Oh, wait a minute. I just had a thought. Um. Okay, pillows, pillows. Mattress, white, because none of the other ones really look good. Um, bedding, white, because we looked at the pastel rose. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Can we do the frame in pastel rose? Yeah. So the tie backs, though, like, let's do them white. Um, okay. So, uh, of course, the thing's in the way. Let's put this there. You are not going to be permanent. I'll put you over here. So this will go over here. Now, does this make sense to put this here? Is there enough room? I mean, what else are you going to do with this area? That's the thing. Um, I think that makes sense. Um, okay, so uh, I'm going to do the floor because that rug is just so disgusting. I'm thinking, um, I wonder if the white would look good. The white rug instead of, instead of um, doing wood and a rug. I don't think, it's okay. It just, it doesn't thrill me. Um, Okay, so then we want to do, now, I mean, we could do a marble floor. Uh, I don't know. Let's see how these look. I, I doubt this is going to be what I'll use, but let's just see what it's like. Um, no, I feel like we need to warm the room up a little with even a cool toned wood floor. So this, I think, is going to be too yellow. Let's see. Yes, that is too yellow. Um, so let's try, you know, actually, yeah, let's try these. Well, that might be too cool. Yeah, I think that's too cool. Um... I think let's try the zebra wood. Hard to say. Um, the other one would be, let's see how this looks. I, you know, probably not, but whoa, no, definitely not. Um, Did I put these down? I don't think I did. Let's see. So, I don't know. That's too... That doesn't work. Um, so, I'm thinking possibly this one. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm tempted to do like a warmer one, but uh, I just don't think it's going to work. Okay, so we definitely need some stuff on the walls pronto. I'm thinking that it should be the, um, whatchamacallit, where is it? So there are a couple options. One would be the floral shoots wallpaper and 
that's very white and then there let's we would try the gray one too the light gray and then there also is where is it uh hmm uh, it's not So I think the one I'm thinking of, I guess, is the White Weave of Roses. So let's see about that one. I mean, it might be too much white. That's the only problem. So it might be feel too cold. Um... So it's possible that I, oh, we do actually have at least one of these in pink, in a light pink. So that would be fine, but um, let's see if we can get it in, in a slightly warmer color. And this only comes in one color, right? Yep. Okay. So I think, see, I think we only have the grab pansies. We have that. I don't think we have the other ones. Oh, this is gonna be a tough decision. Um, okay. I do kind of like the floral shoots. Let's see how this looks. Um, I, I, somehow this is not, this one in this color at least is not grabbing me. So, it's really hard to say. I'm leaning toward the floral shoots, though, because the pink could be really, I think, overwhelming. I don't know how. I'm going to have to move the bed to do this. Um... Yeah, I th the, the um the pink is almost like aggressive if you know what I mean. Um So let's move you. Okay. There. So I'm going to change those light switches because <clears throat> they're ugly. Well, they're ugly in this room. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, forgot about that part. Okay, so then there's white and there's gray. Well, um, I think to me the, the bed, I mean, it's white, but I don't know. So let's, let's try. Okay. So let's try white on this side. I have gray, I have white and gray on that side. Great. Um, okay, let's put the bed back and see. I'm not, I mean, I'm not sure I'll really be able to tell um, with it in the corner like that. I think I'm gonna go with the white. Because the gray looks a little dingy to me. Okay.
I wish we had really nice gauzy curtains, you know, like partially see-through. We don't, sadly. I think it's a problem with just getting, getting that to work. I don't think it's because they thought it wouldn't be a great idea. I think they, it's just not possible to do that. Wait a minute, what am I saying? Look at the bed. So they have the, they they're able to do on this and they didn't do it on curtains. Okay. Seriously? So we have cuz what we have for the Hey Carbe, how are you doing? It's nice to meet you. I was just saying, you know, I'd love got nice gauzy curtains like the like the bed things, the bed curtains or whatever you call them. The bed draperies. Why don't we have those? I don't understand. It would look so nice. Oh, wait a minute. I left some wallpaper there. Okay. I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, having more fun with this property than I thought I would. I'll be honest. This was horrible as a job. What was this called again? Oh, the it was the old closed music school or something like that. And um, as a job, they, they made you, the master bedroom was just this horrible, um, weird shape. So that's gonna be the kid's room because the problem is just trying to put a big master bed in that just didn't make sense so um and then with the kids room you have, you can have smaller beds so it won't be as bad i am so excited for it i am trying to get the day off my boss was like yeah as long as uh all our work is done i was like okay and then i worked this past weekend to try to make sure that was the case Cause I want to take the whole day off and just, um, you know, and just play for at least a few hours. So, um, yeah, I'm very excited about it. So yes, I've been planning my, <laughs> planning my life around it. Um, yeah. So, uh, I'm psyched. I'm not really sure. I'm a little concerned about whether we're actually going to get some nice, some of the stuff we really need, like curtains and rugs and, you know, stuff like that. It was kind of hard to tell exactly. It sounds like they were saying it was kind of going to be like a country style. They're country style houses. I think they said 11, but maybe I'm imagining that. Um, but yeah, I'm really psyched. So yeah, two more days. Hmm. Not hard to know what to put there. Oh yeah, I forgot these have these ugly yellow bulbs. They look really yellow against the white wall. Yeah, it's three stories and so it's at like a townhouse. And so it's really, it's like potentially really awkward. This was the, where's the light? This was the master bedroom in the job. And like I said, it was kind of problematic because it was like, where do you put this big bed? Whereas if it's kids, you can put twin beds in here really easily and still have plenty of space. And then I'm leaving the bathroom where it was because that makes sense. But, um, wow, that really washes everything out. Um, yeah, so I guess I should finish putting the wallpaper up, but, um, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's kind of inherently awkward because you've got, um, this long, this tall, skinny building and it's really, oh, was I putting gray? Oh, no, I wasn't. Was I? No. Oh, okay. Just there. Um. 
and it's just it's it's not really it's definitely not the best shape for um you know for well-shaped rooms because <laughs> that's just that's just not what you're getting yeah i think that's that's a good idea because with a hotel you expect to have fairly small rooms um whereas the thing is so if i'm i'm making this a um uh you know a, a, like it was in the job a family house although that the guy didn't seem like a family guy but then there was a kid's room i'm thinking divorced dad maybe but um but uh it's not, it doesn't lend itself really well to a family house. So it's, it's definitely one of those properties where you're, um, you're, you know, you definitely are at a disadvantage. I'll put some pretty light switches in. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's, it's, it's tricky. Uh, let's see, light switch. I think we only need one. So what am I going to do with for the... I think I'm going to have to do ceiling, like, chandeliers. Um, I mean, I can't... You know what? I'm, I, I'm so tired of using this, but I think I'm going to have to use this this one and the wall lights that go with it. Trying to, I was trying to avoid my game is like, oh God, I can't wait till I get my new computer. Um, I'm clicking and like nothing's happening. I don't understand. It's just a chandelier. How hard is it to pull it up? Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with this. Doing this and then doing probably doing some wall lights. But I was trying to avoid it because I just, I, I used it a lot and so I don't want to use it, keep using it, but, um, so let's see, this is probably going to be in here. Maybe not because it doesn't really seem to match. So we will put it in the hall for now. Um, this obviously is going to be, yeah, this room is going to be a two two episode, two stream, um, two stream job. Oh, really? Yeah. I've, so I've been, I've been barely doing anything besides working because I'm, I really want to make sure that I get, um, the door just open, the front door just opened by itself. Um, cause I, I wanted to make sure that I, I'm going to be able to take the day off. So, but it looks cool. Um, I mean, I've been playing Animal Shelter Simulator, and I have to say that the pets, that's weird. So the pets in uh, the House Flipper Pets DLC look more natural than the ones in, in uh, Animal Shelter Simulator. I mean, they look like the dog looks really fuzzy. You know, I just saw like, you know, a couple things here and there, but the dog looks fuzzy and, you know, like it, like it, the puppy looks like it, like has rolls of fat. You know what I mean? Just looks very, um, so much better than the animal shelter simulator one, which I feel badly about saying, but it, you know, I played animal shelter simulator for a few hours and I was like, huh, it's fine. And there, there just wasn't enough to do. I, I was doing the same stuff over and over and I was getting bored. So, um, so yeah, I think the pets DLC looks like a lot of fun. Plus they're going to have, um, small animals, exotic animals, which I think is great. So yeah, I, like I used to have a chinchilla, so I think it'll be fun to have the small animals too. Okay. So am I in the way? Is that why I can't put this down? Oh, is the bed in the way? Really? Oh, shoot. Okay. So I'm going to have to... Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to fit. Yep. No problem. Um, Come on. Because I just do not want to pick those colors again. That was a pain. Um, okay. 
try this again. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was just, I was wondering if it was me. I mean, I do have a low boredom threshold, granted, but on the other hand, I've played like 800, literally over 800 hours of House Flipper. So my boredom threshold can't be that low because I'm literally doing the same thing over and over. I just felt like, is this it? You know, I mean, I just keep churning these, these animals. So like, you know, uh, take animal into the shelter, do this, do this, um, put them up for adoption. And it just felt like I was doing the same thing over and over. And I was getting, I was getting bored. It's like, okay, well then you get the thing to wash them. Okay, well, so that's interesting for about five minutes. And then, you know, it just, I don't know. It didn't really do anything for me. Now, this doesn't match perfectly, but I think it's the best one. Well, so I'm already at an hour, so I think I should probably end the stream. I'm going to take a break. And I'd love to find just a white rug. Maybe I should just listen to myself and do the white carpeting. That's a possibility. So anyway, so I'm going to, um, so I'm going to end the stream and then I'm going to take a break and come back to this. So, um, I just want to say, Carbe, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And, um... I, and to everyone else who stopped by and everyone watching the VOD, thank you so much. I am so glad you, you said hello to me too. Um, yeah, so yes, I'm very excited. And, and if, if nothing is in my way, I will be here for some on Pacific time. I will probably be here at like 10 a.m. Pacific time, if not earlier, playing the game. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um... Everyone take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.